Match Composer updates, 2v2 Microsoft Store playlists added, relays added to IP masking, Rocket Race returning, Valentine's Day emblem added, and two Mystery Forge maps also coming into the MCC, as well as a tease to the content browser for custom games being added to MCC. Stay tuned throughout the video to understand the details. How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another gameplay commentary. Today, we're talking about the recent February update that came to MCC. If you like these news information videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we all know sub boxes be kind of weird at times. If you want to talk about the update to the MCC today, make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. So let's get right into the video here. We recently had a quite sizable update to the MCC here. So I'm going to go give you the TLDR on the whole thing. So let's get right into the information. So with this update, we have brand new playlists being added to the MCC. We have the, like I said earlier, the Rocket Race game mode fan favorite. I was playing it earlier. It's quite a lot of fun. Just jumping around, blowing stuff up. It's a good time. It's mixed in with the action sack playlist. Okay guys, so the only way to play Rocket Race in the MCC right now is to have Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo 3 selected and the action sack playlist. And this will be under the 2v2v2v2 playlist. So this would be under the multi-team playlist. So you will have to bother with also playing Super Fiesta and other game modes associated with Action Sack for Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo 3, but Rocket Race is mixed in there as well. We have also the Valentine's Day nameplate information. Uh, recently they just added an IP masking as well. If you guys don't know what IP masking is, basically what it is is just makes it so that people can't DDoS you or deny your internet service while you're playing the game. Uh, it turns out there's a big issue when it came to high-end gameplay where people would get people's IP address and then they just DDoS them, cancel their internet service for a temporary, or so, per, temporary time, and so then they get the easy win and rank up. It's kind of a dick move, but people do do it because those that level 50 is so important to people's lives. Multi-team was just added into the MCC as well under the specific playlist they call it comes up as 2v2v2v2 and with the recent 2v2 tournaments coming to the mcc or i should say just my the uh, south by southwest competition that they obviously when people want to practice their 2v2 gameplay so they have a halo 3 specific 2v2 playlist for the microsoft settings that they have for this competition should be a good way great way to get your uh sticks warmed up and practiced up on that mode because obviously you know you need to have a playlist if you're gonna have people compete in it so there was a recent update to the match composer as well a bit of a consolidation in certain game modes to kind of have better organized but we saw uh, a new addition of flag bomb basically the attack and defend bases in scenarios involving flag and bomb objectives including capture flag assault and ricochet with also we have zone control which capture and control zone on the map to earn points it includes king of the hill territories extraction and domination and we also have asset denial asset denial is uh, attack the enemy targets and defend your own and this includes oddball vip and regicide now there is a big chart that was added to this waypoint update kind of giving you a breakdown on in excel essentially of what you can you do in each game now because there's so many different playlists so many different games Different, so many different kinds of settings you can try out. Uh, I will link uh, the Halo Waypoint in the description down below if you want to kind of understand all the details when it comes to that. But obviously, if you just kind of scroll through uh, the Match Composer and MCC, you'll be able to see what's available to you. We also ha now have the lovely Valentine's Day nameplate added to the MCC, and there's a certain way you, you have to do to get it. You can earn this by either playing multiplayer or campaign. The way to do it with the multiplayer is that you have to play 10 games of multi-team in social games. Of course, this means completing 10 games, not just hopping in, getting into the lobby, and quitting out. You actually have to complete the game. You actually have to play it to earn the nameplates. Sounds weird, I know, right? But some people will, would do that. Uh, you can also do it through the campaign as well. The way to earn it through campaigns is like to hop in with a friend, play some co-op missions. You have to play three, and it could be of anything. Just that you can't play a certain kinds, you can't play the cinematic only missions, art not missions, and the Halo 3 ODST Mombasa Streets, which is kind of more of an open world situation on that one, obviously. And as long as you finish up, you know, playing your 10 matches in multi-team or playing a co three separate co-op missions, 
in campaign, you'll be able to get this nameplate before the end of the month. The final time is going to be March 1st when they're going to be handing out these uh, emblems. So get on your grind and start playing if you want. It. Like I mentioned earlier, MCC added in the IP masking feature. And uh, this is kind of like a quick little breakdown of how and where can people get your IP to potentially get banned or DDoS you, which is kind of a ridiculous thing, but here we go. So. Uh, who and where can players discover your IP in MCC? They can discover it in matchmaking. If your relays are set on, nobody can. If relays are set off, anyone can. So it relays is a feature that's in the networking settings of the MCC. You want that on if you want your IP mask. Uh, generally, you just want to do that just for like security reasons and also just in case that you know you get DDoSed or something like that. This is more for high-end gamers. Uh, or high end ranking players and also I'm sure for streamers as well. So it's going to be a great feature added in uh, custom games. Anyone can get into it. These are peer to peer run games, Go up campaign missions because they're peer to peer and sparring ups as there are also peer to peer connections on those. Now we have some forge maps in Halo 3 being added into matchmaking. This is actually happening. I made a video way, way back showing the maps that they were intending to implement, but they just never got around to doing it. You know, I even messaged, uh, I believe I messaged Postman about this too, saying like, hey, what happened, what happened to these maps? And like, oh yeah, we're working on it, kind of thing. Uh, so we actually have two Forge maps being added into the MCC. This is actually happening this time. And uh, the thing is that Postum's actually kind of made a little bit of a challenge for me on this one, trying to get you guys information because he actually blurred out the images for whatever reason. Now these are maps that were previously in Halo 3's original matchmaking that were Forge maps. Now I tried looking up online, trying to figure out what maps they were. I couldn't really find a list of Halo 3 Forge maps implemented in the matchmaking. And I also even downloaded Halo 3's multiplayer and it's not in like one of the default maps you can play. So I wasn't really able to figure it out what in time. If you guys know what these maps are, you can recognize them. Please leave them in the comment section down below. I will make a video on that so you guys can know what we're talking about here. Uh, but we have one map that's set in the uh, sandbox map variant right here. Like again, I just can't tell what it is. It's way too blurry. And then we also have another one in the sandbox variation as well, but it's up in the skybox version. And again, like I, I just can't tell what it is. I want to know, man. I want to give you guys the information. Postums made it difficult for me on this one. And lastly, I want to touch on is that they did mention that the custom games browser that they announced last year that's going to be coming to MCC is still a work in progress. Uh, they're still planning to get some eventual hands-on flighting with this. You know, there was a recent update to the Insider program to the MCC. So I'm assuming that maybe this could be the custom games browser update, hopefully. And we get a chance to maybe get it to, uh, you know, play it out. If I do, I will definitely let you guys know in a video about it. Uh, I probably will live stream it as well. So if you guys want to know where my live stream link is, it's in the description down below. I believe it's the first one to check out there. Uh, I do stream quite often on there, like 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Times, usually on those streams. And uh, that's pretty much about it when it comes to the MCC news. Uh, they, they said they're working on it. It's coming soon for the custom games of browser, uh, but it's not any definitive time frame when it's going to happen. Now, a lot of people have speculated about the big announcement of the South in South by Southwest event in Austin, Texas coming next month would be the announcement of maybe like a date release for the custom browser. Um, I don't think it'd be that just because I feel like if they were going to say give a date for this custom browser They would just say it and not really make a big announcement about it I still feel like the South by Southwest announcement is I want it to be a PC on PC like a MCC on PC with crossplay That's what I want. I think that'd be absolutely fabulous I feel like there has to be some reason why it takes so long for this custom browser to get implemented since they've already done it in Halo 5 I would think that MCC would be able to do it pretty easily or at least you know, copy and paste it obviously there's coding issues with that I'm saying that we already have a infrastructure for a custom browser in Halo 5 why not also just kind of do the same thing but in MCC I feel like there's something bigger going on here that we do, do not know about but again as soon as we do know about it you best believe I'll be making a video about it and talking about South by Southwest I am actually going to be going to the South by Southwest in Austin Texas March 15th through the 17th and so I am super excited about going to this event. I'm looking forward to getting a chance to meet up with a lot of people uh, down there. If you guys live in the Austin area or are planning to go to South by Southwest, 
please stop by, say hi to me. You know, I'd love to get a picture with you, or just like, you know, I'd like to talk to you guys because it'd be, it's kind of weird. Like at this point, I'm kind of starting to get noticed a little bit more in the Halo community, which is kind of crazy. And so uh, I just want to say thank you to all you guys for the incredible support. And if you're going to the South by Southwest, let me know. I want to meet up with you. It'd be super cool to meet up with uh, people who like to stick with the channel. It'd be super awesome. Anyways, guys, that's the whole video. If you like this kind of informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's know you want to see some more content like this. If you leave a comment down below as well, I probably will read it because I do read all the comments and reply to most of them as well about this update. If there's anything you're kind of looking forward to, the MCC, or there's something that you know about these four drops that I can't figure out what they are. And if you're new to the channel, want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. If you guys are new to the channel or missing any content for me, please make sure to check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all, all in the next video. Peace out.